Hello and welcome to another tutorial in our C Sharp tutorial series and I have all this junk here I'm just going to erase it. Uh, today we're going to be learning about more math functions. So you're probably thinking like we probably learned all the math functions we could learn. We learned addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, mo even modulus. We learned that too. So what else is there? Well, uh, these aren't really too necessary, but they're helpful little shortcuts. So you might have come across an instance when you're, if you were experimenting, you probably weren't, but if you happen to be experimenting, you said, oh, I want to create a number and I want it to equal one. Okay. And then you say, wait, I want to add two to this number. Okay. You probably figured out you had to do something like this. Number equals number plus two. That would make logical sense. We would take our number and we'd add two to it. This would work. This would work. Absolutely. So if we say console dot right line and we say uh, our number is uh, number, we run it, it works. We get three. Okay? One plus two equals three. Okay, and we're happy. But there's an easier way to do this. And easier ways are better ways. <laughs> what we can do is, is say number plus equal two. What this basically is saying, we're going to take our number and we're just going to add two to it. So, yeah, we're going to add two and assign it. Okay, I'm going to stop talking and just run it so you can see for yourself. See, it did the same exact thing. And now we can do other things to it. So we can do subtraction. We can subtract two from it. And it's negative one now. Wow, it worked. And we're going to do multiplication to it. And it's going to be equal to two because one times two equals two. Wow, we can even do division with it, but that probably won't turn out well because integers don't handle uh, decimal points, so we're just going to make this 4, so it gets us a nice clean uh, quotient. So we got 2 right here. We can even do modulus. Wow, even modulus. So it's nice to have all these little shortcuts in our hands. So it equals 2, just like it should, because there should be no remainder. And there we go. Okay. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is the math class. What this is basically does is it allows us to do a bunch of other things. Basically, whatever you can find on your scientific calculator, it can do. So, for example, it can find the absolute value. It can find whatever this thing is, or this, this, any of this stuff. Log, the maximum value between a bunch of values, the minimum value, power of something. So I'm just going to show you a couple of these. First one I'm going to show you is the absolute value. So we're just going to change this. The absolute uh, abs value of blah. Of x plus y, oops, not that, is, and we're, right here we're going to type in math.abs, that's short for absolute value, and we're going to enter in x plus y. Okay, simple enough. Right now we don't have x and y, so it's going to give us a bunch of errors, so just change this to x, int y, uh, I'm going to say negative 543, shape 544, so we can see this better. So let's go ahead and run it, see what happens. The absolute value of 4 plus negative 544 is 540. So as you can see, it got the absolute value for us. It added 4 plus 500, negative 544. That's going to get us negative 540. 
but it changed it to a positive since it finds the absolute value. And we can do a bunch of other things. We could do power. Oops. So this takes two arguments, two variables. Uh, so we're going to say x and y. And what this will basically do is take x and make it to the power of y. So if we make x 4 and we make y 2, 4 times 4. That's what it's going to do. And we get 16. And this is wrong. OK. We should say like the power of blah equals blah. But I'm not going to do that because I'm too lazy to. So you can go ahead and play around with these. Uh, some of them are pretty useful, like like min and max is pretty useful in making game. For example, like you could sort things with this, probably wouldn't be a good idea, but you, it's uh, in many situations very useful when making games. So what this will do is basically compare x and y together and find out which one's smaller and output that. Oopsies, where'd it go? So, as you can see, it says we entered uh, x is equal to 4, uh, y is equal to 2. It picked 2 because 2 is the biggest one. And as you might have expected, max does the same opposite thing, or does the exact opposite thing. It gets 4. So, that's basically what the math class does. It has a bunch of other functions we could use. If you want it, oh, and it has pi, see, it has sine, tangent, cosine bunch of other stuff. Very useful when making uh, mathematical calculations, especially geometrical ones. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.